Hi, she was seven. Okay, so I'm back to answer some of the questions that y'all left me on my ask me a question video in the comments. Okay, so the first question I'm gonna answer is, why do all the creepy lame men approach pretty ladies with ease, but the guys you're attracted to just stare and never approach you? Okay, I'm gonna tell you why. Men who are attractive know they're attractive. They're not going to approach you because they want women to approach them. This is why I never mess with pretty boys. Okay, they're waiting on those ladies who are very desperate and who will do things for them to approach them. They're waiting on the less attractive females to go after the pretty boy because they know that they can get a lot out of them easier. Another very attractive person will not really come up to another attractive person because then they lose their edge. They don't have any power over them. They don't have any, you know, they can't talk to them any kind of way. They can't treat them any kind of way. They have to come correct. So this is why you have lots of lames coming up to you if you're pretty and why the pretty boys or the attractive men will not come up to you if you're pretty as well. Now sometimes they will because they're tired of messing with the, the girls that they're not really into for the night and when they do really do want someone to uh, build a future with they will approach when they're ready but when they're out and about and you're out and about and they're they're not out looking for a wife okay so try to keep that in mind okay let's see next question oh man my phone timed out i hate that okay next question um okay so i'm, I'm skipping all the silly ones y'all i'm sorry Mm, okay, so I'm 28 years old and I recently came into realization that I want to marry a financially successful man. I am wondering from your experience, do you feel like you have no control in your house as in your man making all the money he controls how it is spent or do you have a say so? Well, when you're married, it is a, a partnership. So if you have access to his bank account, you have access to his money. If you don't have access to his bank account, then you can get an allowance like every month on a certain day. Like say when he gets paid, make sure he deposits or gives you money to put in your own account if you have separate accounts. Make this mandatory, make this known before you get married. Say, look, I'm not gonna be working. I'm gonna need spending money. I don't like arguing about cash. I don't like coming to you asking you for money. So every month I need you to put this certain amount in my bank account or I need access to your bank account freely guarantee you they will automatically opt for giving you an allowance so once you're through with that allowance then you're on your own you make your own money elsewhere however you can or whatever or you just ask him for more however the relationship is set up but make it known that you want to set up that arrangement before you get married so you don't have to talk about it afterwards you should be cool enough by then you know to talk about money you can't talk about money freely don't get married okay all right Next question. I live in the Pacific Northwest and men here are known for being very passive and not approaching women. I don't want to chase a man, but oh, I don't want to chase a man and be the aggressor, but I won't date if I don't do this or whatever. What should I do? Um, well, if it were me and I was, you know, cuz I'm from the south where, you know, it's different. So if it were me, I would go out. I would say, "Oh, you know, this is a really I love this place so much, you know, but I'm thinking about moving because the men out here don't act like me. Just talk loud to let people hear you like within an earshot because when people are out drinking, they're actually kind of listening to other people's conversation. So put your complaint out there, you know, talk to your friend about it where, where you're in an earshot of a guy who's not approaching it. And he'll be like, oh, really? I have to represent my kind. And he might come approach you. You know, I'm used to uh, guys coming to approach women. That, you know, over here, it's like, we're the men. You know, just complain about it out loud. Let your feelings be out there. Um, men like that who won't approach women are very probably into the equal, everyone's equal. I don't have to approach you. A, no gender, da 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 and You don't want to date those kind of men anyway because your life will be miserable. So... I suggest you find someone that lives or grew up somewhere else who moved there and still has 
traditional values or you just let your complaint be known out loud and what you think of these type of men and maybe you know due to ego male ego one of them will react in a positive way towards you so that's my advice okay next question um You've talked once about how you first met your husband by coincidence at that bar. I like to know your thoughts on meeting someone who didn't just happen to be at the same place I was at. And it is that interfering with destiny? Do you think I should leave it up to fate? Because I heard that how Kate met William, that she had it all planned from the beginning. So clearly there are two schools. I think if you want something, go get it. I had already manifested um, a husband with his qualities before I even met him. So I, I, I just did the manifestation technique. I was just basically hanging out before I went to work. And due to my manifestation of what I wanted, that's what came to me. Um, now, if I saw a man that I wanted, it's... Um, and I, and I put myself in the place to be noticed, you know, that, that works too. I mean, women do it all the time. But I would say it's easier and probably faster and more effective if you manifest the type of man you want and wait for that type of man to come because specifics can be very, very, um, specifics can be very hard. Okay, because first of all, that guy has to feel the same way about you. And if he doesn't, wasting your time. Okay, uh, why not just manifest a man that feels the same way about you that you do about him with all the qualities of the man that you really want? Because um, if he don't really want you, you know, and you put you keep putting yourself in, in his path, he's going to figure it out pretty soon. He's going to be like, uh, I see this girl everywhere. She's always out. Um, and it's not a good look. So. I don't think, and it's it's sort of like chasing a man, like, like I don't, I don't mean to be rude, but it's kind of like chasing a man. You don't, that's what groupies do. Like, if, if he's an athlete, yes. If he's rich, billionaire, man, yes, yes, yes. Put yourself in his view. Put yourself in his view. That doesn't mean he's going to marry you. But if you manifest the type of man you want and just, you know, vibrate on that level, don't talk to anything less than what you've, you know, what you've, manifested then it's, it should come to you now, either way remember if he doesn't really like you if he's not into you no matter how many times you put yourself in his view he's not going to see you okay all right um should women return gift that they received from a boyfriend and man what does it tell woman if someone does this what if you get a financially stable man, but the parents or mama is keep keeping a close eye on his money? Um, I don't think you should give any gifts back because it was a gift, which means it was freely given. Mm -mm, no gifts go back. Um, if a if a boy's mom, because I'm not gonna say a man, if a boy's mom is keeping an eye on his money, is it really his money? Um, does she have control over his wallet or does he? Um, this is one thing about dating a mama's boy. You'll never win. Okay, so uh, you, you're going to have to trick him to give you money, basically, without her finding out. And that's just too much drama to deal with. Uh, or y'all going to have to move far away or whatever. <laughs> so whatever um, y'all choose to do, I, I just, I don't believe in dating mama's boys because I can't, you know, it's not something I want to compete with you know it's not it's not cute okay I'm trying to find the next question um are there more questions I have trouble finding a real true girlfriend all my friends are frenemies they compete and when I am pretty and fit they want to make me fat and criticize what I wear, makeup, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you have girls that are frenemies and they criticize you for wearing makeup, eating fit, working out. Um, well, you wanna have real friends, but they're always like downing you. Okay. I don't have any 
have any real friends. I have one friend from third grade. Her name is Jenny. The rest of my friends are online, on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, I find I find life easier without all that drama. Um, I have sisters. I have um, cousins. I have enough females in my life to not really need a friend. Okay, I'm married. My kids are my friend. My husband's a friend. Mm. But if when I was single, I did have a friend. Or, you know, before I was married, I did have a friend. And we hung out all the time. And yes, there was that jealousy there. There was that pettiness there. But you have to take it as a compliment. You have to say, you know, I, I took it as a compliment, y'all. I was like, yeah, I know I look good. I know I wear a lot of makeup. You know what? I just, I love makeup. I think it looks good on me. You know, when they say, oh, you wear too much makeup. Like, oh, yeah. You want me to teach you how to do yours? Like, side swipe them, you know? Don't let them get away with it. Say, so, yeah, you want me to teach you how to do yours? Oh no, you just wear too much. Well, you know, this is what's in. You know, just come back. You don't have to take it. Just slap them right back with another um, catty remark. And oh, oh, you're you need to eat. You uh, eat this, eat that. Oh, girl, no, I have to take pictures tomorrow. Or yeah, uh, uh, girl, I can't eat that tonight. Uh, I have a date tomorrow, and I don't want to. You know, I don't want my stomach sticking all out or whatever. You know, I'm I'm still um, I still wear the same size as I wore in high school, girl. I'm not trying to ruin that figure. You know, you can go ahead and eat it, and just look at them crazy. You have to just push back and let them know, because then they won't ever mess with you again, because they're afraid to be insulted. Okay, you when they insult you, you got to insult them back worse. That way, they're afraid to insult you or say something anymore about you, because they'll be like, oh my god, she's just gonna get me. So that's how you handle frenemies. And of course, they're going to talk behind your back and they're going to say this and that. And, that, blah, 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 blah. and then when another girl says, oh, she's talking behind your back, all you got to do is like, you know what? I expect that, you know, all the all, many people talk behind my back. You know, it comes with the territory of being me. And just leave it at that. Take your power. Don't let people take it from you. That's that's silly. OK. Um, OK, so I'm going to get back to this. <sighs> Okay, um, best way to ask a guy for money, is it the same approach for your man, your dating, or the husband, okay. best way to ask a guy for money, is it the same approach for the man you're dating or your, the husband? Best way to ask a man for money, okay, first of all, you have to know them a good long time, not too long, but you know, a good long time to where he trusts you enough, and you have to say, oh my God, you know what? I I have to pay this bill, so uh, I gotta I gotta find something you know just make up a fake situation. You don't even have to have a bill, okay? Say so, say my this this always gets makes a man feel like trash if he can't help you. You know my ex uh, my ex's mom. Don't say your ex because they'll get mad. My ex's mom was paying for something because she was really helping me out because I helped her son out one time but my my ex's mom is paying for something and I really don't want her to pay that anymore because my ex thinks he can just call me up anytime and I really don't want her. girl he'll pay that bill quick okay or he'll try to give you some money for it to get her and say well and after this bill I can close out the account or you know I can just tell her no in advance so she can just close the card or just make up something but make make it seem like if he didn't help you it's going to be like asking your ex in a way, but not directly. So that's a good way to get, you got to trick people sometimes. Okay. Um, and if you don't like the trick way, if you just want to ask for money, just ask for money. Say, you know, honey, I really need some money this week. I'm short. Would you mind helping me out? Please. You know, flirt with them and all that kind of good stuff. <sighs> but, um, yeah, it, it might not work. The other way works on his ego. So. That's why I said use that because when you mess with a man's ego, it always works. Okay, so I think that was all the questions unless there's more that I can't see on my phone. So I guess I'll have to do a part two if there's more. So whoever asked those questions, thank you so much. I didn't want to say your names and give out your, your information, but I'm sure if people want to know, then go read below. But I hope that helped most of y'all and thumbs up if you uh, agree with those answers. If not... You know, put your two cents into the comments to help those other people out who ask questions. I don't ever mind that. So feel free. And I'll see y'all later.